guys uh, start the camera? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Uh, Eddie is uh, in Chicago, and uh, I'm inviting him to talk to us about uh, the interesting topics that everybody picked last time. I mean, uh, uh, picked on the post. So uh, let's. Uh, what are we starting with, Eddie? What do you feel like uh, talking about first? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I understand. I'm talking about uh, uh, opportunities of investment in uh, uh, global. Uh, right. Yeah. We're going to start with uh, this international business uh, opportunities and uh, environments that impact it, you know, yeah. yeah, we can start with that and then we can talk a little bit about uh, marketing, maybe international marketing. And uh, yeah, so let's start with uh, international business and uh, opportunities, environments. Uh, uh, you. You can give us some examples from your own experience, uh, Eddie, or uh, things you have uh, come across while yeah. living while living in Europe, uh, uh, living in the U.S., and uh, so forth. No, uh, let me start the most dramatic example uh, that uh, I came across in the U.S. You know? I came in the U.S. in 1997 when the, 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 the Housing market, uh, uh, housing market was uh, was booming in the U.S. and um, you know, probably remember the crisis, the global financial crisis in 2007, 2008. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to just to figure out here uh, a certain uh, a certain uh, risk, uh, environment, environment risk. Uh, basically uh, makes uh, makes every rule, every every wisdom, every traditional wisdom collapse in the base world. So basically, let's uh, let's start with the fact that uh, uh, in 2007, in 97, 97, 98, basically, there was the, the, the established with investment in uh, real estate is the safest, the safest. Uh, Investment you now for for three years has been increasing in value, especially in the United States, where there is a, 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 a stable political and economic uh, environment. You, you have uh, everything in place to, to, to generate huge profit in, uh, in the market, uh, housing market, and so. Uh, when it started in 2000, in 1997, we already had uh, two crises in the world. One was the, the stock market crash in Asia, and the other was the economic crisis, the financial crisis in Russia. So everybody thought that the best, the, uh, the best thing to do was to invest money in safe haven, United States. And of course, the, the, the biggest uh, uh, investment uh, Profit generating investment was the housing market, you know, the existing market. And so the wisdom, the wisdom told the economists and the, the financial companies that this, this is the way to go. Now you also have a lot of people uh, uh, chasing the American dream, which basically is to, to have a house that increases in value. And so we have a boom in a, in a housing market that made trillion of dollars from around the world flowing to the United States into housing market and credit industry, you know, and um, you have uh, uh, you have uh, tens of millions of people borrowing from banks and housing uh, buying houses, and uh, what happened in ten years basically um, the, the, the 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 value of houses uh, increased with 124 percent. I mean, it was a very Aspen and, and, uh, and a huge increase, and this increase uh, encouraged more more people to buy, to buy, to buy. You know, and financial uh, the financial uh, companies in the United States made huge profit by uh, uh, by uh, lending money to PayPal and uh, selling the financial pocket to Europe or to China, to Japan, to Asia, to Russia, wherever in the world. You know, 
And so uh, the, 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 the more this, this market uh, uh, boom, it became a bubble. In the sense that they, they were increasing prices. And not only, I mean, the, the more they, they, they sold houses, the more the, 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 the prices, the, the cost increased. And so, the, the, I mean, the, the bubble, the bubble, the bubble grew up. And the, the bubble was more of the money. Uh, housing market in the United States, you know, and then what happened in the, the, the after 2000, uh, uh, it was the uh, uh, so beginning with the American era, you know, there was a tendency in the United States to remove uh, checks and uh, and uh, uh, constraints from uh, financial companies and bank to let them uh, do business, you know. There was an ideological factor in here. We have to. to uh, they, they, it it was an ideological factor because the rhetoric was like, okay, if the government controls the bank and uh, uh, financial companies, that means that this is a kind of socialism or communism, you know. And uh, on the, the, the other side, if, uh, if, if we, uh, we remove every, every uh, check uh, uh, regulation from uh, the financial uh, sector, then the business will flourish, you know. Now, what happened then after 2000, that they, 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 they had that phenomenon which was unique, the, the, the subprime mortgage, mortgage, subprime mortgage, which meant basically that the financial companies started lending money to people who could not, who were investors, risky borrowers, you know. So people who didn't have the, the, the income to, to guarantee a, a return, a, a payback of their mortgage. And um, so they, they, they didn't disclose this fact, but they kept selling the, the financial markets to Europe or to Asia, you know, and people in Europe and Asia believe that they make a good investment, a very good investment, I mean. I mean so they, they watch the increase in the health value, and, and uh, uh, in, a, in a, uh, I mean, the, the, in, in, in the in profit of uh, mortgage companies, and they were very, they were about to pour money into the United States. But basically, what happened? Uh, the, the new borrowers were not, they were unable to pay. This was a fact, you know. Now, then they when the one step further, and actually, in the beginning of 2004, 2005, they lend money to people who then they couldn't pay back. Like, I mean, people without a job. Got an income, even criminals, people criminal record. So they work out the papers as to see that these were a serious, uh, serious uh, business podcast. But they knew it was not there, you know. So uh, what we have here is basically it's a it's a breach of ethics, ethics, you know. But I mean, when it comes to money, people don't don't care about ethics. This is a fact. I mean, that has always been the same in the, in the history of the world. I mean, when it comes to money, people don't give a, a dime on ethics. And so, uh, once those government uh, government uh, checks removed uh, from the, the, the banks and the, the financial corporations, and even they had strong lobbies in the Senate, in the Congress, to to, to, to make it even more lax, you know. So the, the bubble, the increase in this business was so big and so beautiful. All of a sudden, it burst, you know. 2007, 2008, we have uh, 15 uh, uh, September 15, 2000. Uh, I remember all this, you know, uh, went bankrupt. And then one after another went bankrupt. Now, when they went bankrupt, meant, meant basically that they, if, if the, the if, if, uh, financial companies and investors from Europe or Saudi Arabia or China, who basically what they did, they, they, they bought those financial packages, you know. Uh, there was no guarantee that uh, the, uh, the, the companies that uh, sold them to, to could, could afford to pay, could pay, you know what I mean, could insure the business because they went bankrupt. So it was a domino effect. And uh, uh, all of the in 2007, 2008, we have like, the greatest financial crisis in the world since the, the, the stock market crash. The, uh, what I like to emphasize here, of course, in, in the United States, I watched the whole thing uh, uh, happening and uh, try to understand what is going on. So, uh, along with, see, I saw many people, many 
private persons uh, having their house blocked and then destroyed about the southern and basically if you remember the movie uh, two movies with the same name with michael douglas wall street yeah yeah i remember that the first wall street was in uh, the 90s and michael douglas goes goes before the contest and says Green, he would, because Green, it makes great the, the, the engine driving the economy, so it is good. Now, in the, 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 the last uh, uh, war state, of the 21st century, the same. Mark Douglas comes out of prison and says, Greed is bad, you know, and he says, Look, we had the first generation in America that basically uh, uh, is uh, their children, children are going to be in a worse situation than they have been. I and mean, so this is the end of the American so to say. Uh, and so we have uh, uh, greedy people uh, and, work and buying a uh, flat screen TV, a new a boat, a new, new car, you know, all of, and all of a sudden everything is, is bursting. Now, what I like to, to emphasize here, because we talk about environment, okay? Ethics, and as I said, as I said, nobody here comes to mind, you know, I mean, you need laws in the regulation of ethics, because ethics is not enough. I like to, to emphasize two phenomena that I noticed in the United States. Basically, what happens when a religious environment, religious environment becomes a, a place where you can run, attack the bot, or you can uh, build a kind of uh, bot system economy. You know, this one you believe. And I want to give two examples, one in the Jewish community, another one in the Christian community, evangelical community because they are both very, very interesting. So, you have the health uh, uh, policy scheme, uh, the, the biggest policy scheme in the history of the world, the world of economy, it was like 65 billion, plus, like 65, 68 billion dollars policy scheme, you know? Okay, Andy, now, can, can I interrupt you for a minute? Can I interrupt you for a minute? I just want to make sure that we all understand what you said. So give, give me a minute. Let me just talk to the students for a minute. Make sure that we understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if you... I think the internet is kind of cutting up. Unfortunately, we... We have a storm here. Mate. Yeah, but... It's, uh, it is. The, the, the other problem is we are using uh, wireless. We should be using yeah. wire, but uh, for some That's reason, the, the Brian, he didn't connect the wire. So, okay, so what's going on um, is um, he, he basically began by talking about uh, the uh, investment uh, uh, sector, okay? So back in the mid to late 1990s, okay, like 97, 98, maybe some of you, yeah. were you guys even born in that time? <laughs> some of you. So, <laughs> so uh, some of them were born, some of them were not. It's about 20 years ago, right? More or less. Uh, so you are, all, you are all 20, over 20 years of age, right? So, so then you are maybe one, two, or three years old. Okay, so what happened is the, the economic um, environment worldwide was quite unstable, you know, Russia just uh, changed, was, was in a big change from communism to, you know, more or less whatever it is today. We, I don't know what to call that, but it was changing from whatever it was back then to whatever it is today. I don't know what to call it, but anyway. And China was going through some changes. Asia, you know, Japan, Japan was having an economic slowdown. Uh, uh, Taiwan was not really a big player like it is today. South Korea was also not not a very big player as well. So, so people were wondering, you know, where is a good place to invest? So, most people decided to invest into property and um, uh, housing and uh, commercial buildings in, in the U.S. So at first, everything was rosy and, and, and nice. People were buying. Uh, left and right, uh, but uh, like like Eddie was saying, uh, there was a movie about Wall Street, right? 
and uh, Michael Douglas, one of the actors in the movie, said that greed is good. You know what, you know what is greed, right? To be greedy, right? To be kind of like, uh, to want more and more and more, and to be selfish. And more. So anyway, so he said greed is good. And uh, everybody was going on, on this idea that greed is good. So what happened? The banks, they started going you know, they, they started going further and further with, with greed and the idea that greed is good and uh, when it comes to business and making money forget about ethics, forget about morals just make money so what, what they start to do to make more and more money is they started to loan money to people that uh, were unable to, to, to pay it back you know, like whenever you loan money to buy a house, to buy a building, to buy a car, to buy whatever, you have to pay back, right? And before they loan you money, they have to check your credit, they have to make sure that you have a job, and uh, uh, so that you are able to pay back. But, uh, you know, the, the banks and the uh, mortgage uh, companies or institutes, they start to loan money to anybody, to criminals, to poor people, to people that didn't even have a job. And of course, as you can imagine, those people were not able to, to, to pay back. But what do you think happened? If you start loaning money to everybody and everybody can buy, what is, what is, the, what is the one important business uh, uh, trick that happens when it, anybody and everybody can buy things? What happens when people can buy when everybody can buy things, everybody has money to buy things. What happens to the things? Yeah, they become more expensive, exactly. So that's exactly what happened to the properties. The properties, the buildings, the houses, the commercial buildings. Everybody was buying them from, from the US, from around the world. So they were becoming more and more expensive. So this was the trick. The, the mortgage companies were trying to drive the, the property uh, business to increase in value but so the this is like a bubble right you you try to blow a bubble and it's, it gets bigger 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 and finally when when I think when enough people were not able to start paying back that's when it started to burst right Eddie yeah but you know what's the problem the problem is that it still generate huge profit right because they sold, they sold the financial packages the ethical problem mm -hmm. uh, uh, to uh, to investors in Asia or in Europe or Russia or wherever Saudi Arabia now. So they still make profit. When it came to I mean to, to insurance, they just uh, the fight for bankers, you know. Yeah. So those people have huge profits, personal profit. Uh, I mean, uh, absent profits. But basically, they ruin the whole world. I mean, you know. It's yeah. Because very interesting uh, this 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 uh, this phenomenon that, uh, that took place uh, in 2000 on 7 2008 yeah. when all of a sudden there was a financial crisis and basically it didn't human is not too far uh, yeah too far back you, know? you remember that, that, that there was a, 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 a anxiety that the, the world economy will collapse mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you actually had to bail out all those banks, banks and financial companies because they were afraid of the whole country going bankrupt, you know, yeah. and the whole world going bankrupt. And so, uh, now, uh, if you uh, allow me to, to tell you something, it's very, very interesting. If, okay, can I, can I uh, go on? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm putting, I, yeah. I think, I think you, you, you know what I mean, right? You know, I explained to you guys to understand yeah. like, the problem. So yeah. Then, so then I, I like to analyze, to analyze some culture, some culture. And I think you guys were probably old enough in 2007, 2008 to understand that there was a big economic uh, crisis all over the world, and it was actually caused by the United States and by the banking yeah. and the finance institutes, finance institution in the United States. That's what caused it. But why, why, why it went all over the uh, all over the world? If it was caused by the U.S., why? Because the whole world invested okay. in this. Okay, go, go on, Eddie. Go on. 
No, I, I, you, you, go, you go on, because I, you break, you are breaking things, so I, I, that's why I interrupted you, because I didn't want really to follow up. Okay, so go on. Okay, so, uh, uh, so finally it was uh, affecting, you know, uh, investors everywhere. Uh, I, I, I was in Taiwan at that time, and I, I remember in, it probably affected Taiwan a little bit, but I think because Taiwan were not major players in, in the in the uh, property industry, they didn't they didn't uh, they didn't invest a lot into buying. Uh, uh, so I think it didn't af affect Taiwan as much. Uh, actually, Taiwan was was almost untouched by that or unfazed. Uh, I think it affected China a little bit, but not but not that much. But it. it, it, yeah, it yeah. It affected uh, okay, okay. a lot of a lot of players like Japan, uh, Europe. I don't know about the Middle East. Uh, how how the Arabs? Yeah, sorry, I had big investments, but they they are financially strong, you know. So I mean. yeah, yeah. Okay, you go on, Eddie. Go on. Yeah, I mean, uh, you think a little bit, but these these were very good economic, and very good experts in uh, everything. They were the best in the world. I mean, you know, yeah. those people were full. I mean, you have the best experts in the world. Being full by bubble economy, so we have to ask some questions here, you know. And definitely, the, the movie, uh, the movie uh, uh, worsened by Michael Douglas is a very good education uh, uh, for the, the the broad public. Just like another movie, uh, uh, Magic Cop, also. Yeah, I don't know if you want. I, I saw I saw the I saw the Wall Street uh, movies, but I didn't see what was the other one, the Margin Call. Margin Call, Margin, very good movie. I recommend very good movie. Very good okay, movie. so if you guys want to understand some concepts about investment and, and business, uh, both uh, national and international, I don't know how many of you have seen Wall Street. Have any of you watched? Uh, it's very good uh, for for business and investment. So I recommend if you, especially if you guys are in. Uh, International business. How many of you are studying international business? Nobody? Yeah, I remember uh, the, the, the movie Martin Call shows how. Okay, so basic. So these are good movies to to, to watch. Yeah. Uh, you can you can find. I think you can find them now on YouTube. The people download them on, on YouTube. You can find them for free now. Uh, all these movies, in my opinion. So you can search Wall Street. Wall Street, the movie, and what's the other one? Margin, margin call. Margin call, margin call, margin call. Margin call. Okay. Great movie, margin call. Okay, margin call. So, so uh, go to YouTube and you can search these movies, and um, you might even find with the Chinese subtitles because these movies are old, so people have uh, downloaded them and they have translated them. So, good movies for 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 uh, for business. I should ask you guys. Margin call is not that word at all. Margin call uh, you, you, it shows how a financial company, when it comes to bankruptcy, I mean, to for practices, they don't care about their fantasy business. You know? yeah, yeah. They try to set their assets, you know? Yeah. And they set their assets that actually want to set their personal portfolio. This is the, the, the first CEOs as a portfolio on Thing, yeah. you know? And they destroy everything around them. You know? I mean, this is a factor we, we should not moralize because, uh, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to business, uh, ethics is secondary. But uh, let me give you a, a very interesting environment of culture and religion yeah. that made this possible. And, uh, first, uh, but, you know, I mean, in the Jewish community, it has a history of, of supporting each other. Okay? Yeah, they yeah. have always been like that. Mm -hmm. So they have this uh, priority, uh, never cheat on your brother, okay? Yeah. Always yeah. support each other. Okay? And right. so when the matter, the matter started booming, and, and definitely the matter was a father, a fantastic father, you know? Yeah. I mean, basically, he forced the whole trade on, on, Jew, on the Jewish people. He was a Jew, matter was a Jew himself, you know? He prayed on the Jewish community. I and mean, he has this credibility because he was a Jew, they were Jews. And uh, you, uh, the fact is that he preyed on very rich families, uh, like Pandit families, that were not, uh, no, 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 uh, they were not stupid. I mean, Jews have always been very smart. 
stupid. I mean, they were rich families. They have accountants. They have their accountants, you know. Mm -hmm. And still, Madoff was able to fool that testing in his uh, his Ponzi scheme. And uh, what happened? Uh, the other people were not part of the British community, but like, okay, just a second. A just a second. Do you guys know what a Ponzi scheme is? Do you know what a Ponzi scheme is? You never learned in your business courses? Uh, Eddie, uh, yeah. the, uh, the, tell the students a little bit, what is a Ponzi scheme? How does it work? It's a pyramid. It's a pyramid. The financial pyramid. It's a pyramid. It's you a pyramid. Financial like pyramid. a financial yeah. pyramid. Those on the top make the most, and then the next level makes yeah. some, and then the rest. And finally, you have the people on the bottom. And uh, yeah. everybody on the top, yeah. they feed on those on the bottom. Yeah. You know, They make profit from yeah. those. A Ponzi scheme, yeah. right? So, okay. many businesses work like that. Okay, go ahead. It's, yeah. it's kind of like, uh, is it like those businesses like uh, AMA and uh, Amway and, uh, you know, are they like a Ponzi scheme kind of a business? Those those companies like Amway and AMA or ATA yeah, yeah, or whatever? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to talk about them too because it's a very Yeah, well, you know, actually it's, in, it's interesting because I know quite a few people in Chicago that uh, are they, that work or are involved with, uh, what is it, ACA or something like that? And uh, they... I want to talk about that a little, a little, a yeah. little uh, later. No? Okay, because that's fine. Yeah, but uh, yeah, please do because some of them seem like they're doing pretty good. Uh, some some of the people that work or are involved with ACA and they even they even open up. One of them has contacted me, uh, Marius. I think you know him. And, and, and uh, he said that they open up uh, some offices in Japan now. You know, with some energy companies and some other stuff. So yeah, let's let's do talk about them. Uh, Later, because okay. definitely that's international business now, and some people. We'll come to that later. Come to that later. Yeah, yeah. This is about when when the people were not just uh, noticed that the matter for matter of this was going so well. They started they speak too. Now the problem was matter didn't say he was a, a pirate. Mm -hmm. He was looking at marketing. He was an investing company, but basically the. Uh, the the practice on the came from recruiting new people, you know. So it was a uh, uh, it was basically a Ponzi scheme, but it it uh, it looked like an investment uh, uh, company. So I mean, you you bought you bought uh, you bought stocks with uh, metal. Basically, what happened? They gave you a huge profit. They generated a huge uh, income, but basically that income came from new people investing into the business. Not a development that matter of He managed to hide this fact. And then he borrowed six to eight million dollars, you can imagine what, what that was, you know. Now uh, but you talk about that it's interesting. There was an environment of optimism in the States in uh, between ninety seven and two thousand seven. Very very uh, high uptake, and uh, people believed uh, uh, in it, you know, and you have all the um, Amway and uh, uh, WMA way and all those uh, Ponzi, Ponzi, Ponzi schemes. But basically what they did, they managed to, to, to wreck their, their, new, uh, their new investors, okay, in a business environment. You have a new a new theology in the United States. That it's called the the, the, the gospel of prosperity. You know, yeah, yeah. they have a lot of preachers preaching that like, okay, if you want to be rich, you just have to have faith in God and to believe in God. You know, of course, to contribute with some money to our ministry. This is another fact. Yeah, but if you have faith in God, if you uh, you are going to invest and generate profit, and the the environment because the environment basically let me say. In 2004, 2005, the, the, the whole economy, the, the housing market and the credit industry in the United States have become a, a global policy system, you know? And so, of course, people are making money. And it, it, to support that idea, if you have faith in God, if you believe blah, 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 then you are going to make money. And so those, uh, those uh, multi-level marketing, like Amway, WMA, then we have another lot of, lot of multi-level multi business, the market uh, businesses 
flourishing in the United States. Almost all of them, all of them spread through religious channels. You know, mm. they they used churches, the evangelical churches, very strong in the United States, like 30 million people. You know, and so uh, then they targeted immigrants, immigrants from Eastern Europe. They came out of the state and they wanted to to, to uh, chase the American dream. But the first state in America needed to have up his value, you know, buy all kinds of things, then okay, whatever. And so uh, people were, were the, the special target to their religious communities. Pentecostal mm -hmm. staff churches, you know, they spread all kinds of, of, of uh, multi-level market businesses and they sold stocks. And interestingly, I think the FBI, the FBI had to create a, to use a new name, a new kind of crack, which is called basically affinity fraud. Affinity fraud is when you are using the religious channel to perpetuate a financial fraud. Now, mm -hmm. And so people, did, basically what, it's, what happens is that uh, modern economics is very complicated. Mm -hmm. Not everybody can understand the basics, you know. And so most people go by faith, go blind, you know. They, uh, so who to trust? If the, 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 a certain preacher starts recommending a certain business and they use it, using a certain religious religion, like not one, you know, blah, blah, blah. The, they are going to follow uh, that person blindly because they say they are wondering who, who should be trust in this country. Like, especially you have the new immigrants coming in the United States. They don't don't master the language. They don't understand the economy. Nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. And the people coming from the third world countries, you know, they don't understand the country, but they work like crazy, you know. They want to get to fulfill their dreams, so they believe and they work hard and they invest their money into. Uh, into either in, in, the, in the housing market or uh, in all kinds of uh, multi-level uh, marketing businesses and they keep working investing they, they, they have to pay back their loans and they, they take new loans and they they take credit and they work hard to pay uh, to pay back now the the, 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 the rates balloon you know and all of a sudden the rates increase and, uh, and the, the, the housing market depreciates like what happened? Now, I know people who committed suicide, you know? People yeah. who just uh, destroyed their lives, destroyed their lives in a few years, in a few years. So, uh, if we talk about the, the economy, yes, it was very, very tough uh, for the economy. And basically, in 2014, it has recovered, you know, it settled down. But uh, I know a lot of people who were, were sucked into this, uh, into this uh, madness. Of going rich quick, and they made uh, huge loans like one million dollars. No, and they were accepted okay, because the, the, the companies sold the package to investors in Europe, for instance. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so uh, they made huge loans. They couldn't pay, and they started buying houses, and they don't kind of stop, and they all of the, them ended up just being bankrupt and ruined and. Uh, working uh, like 16 years a day to pay back and so on. I mean, it, a lot of misery, you know? Yeah. Of course, some people are rich. I mean, I know people who became millionaires in these years. I know people who uh, went uh, for, who started with, uh, let's say, 1,000 bucks and ended up with two or three million dollars. It's a fact. But this is a very small, small percentage, mm -hmm. very small person uh, yeah. among the population, you know? And these were not very scrupulous people. I mean, they were the most unethical people. Right. But yes, um, and it's very interesting. All those uh, multi-level uh, marketing businesses, they have a very interesting argument because they hire a, a, a lobby or a, a, a auditorium and they invite people and to, to be informed about the new opportunities in business. And all of a sudden, something, somebody asks a question, he says, uh, sir, I know about this kind of businesses around the world, and I know that uh, like uh, only five percent of people get rich in a uh, pyramid in a multi-level marketing uh, enterprise. Only five percent of people go rich, and basically the, the basis of the pyramid is getting back up. And the bigger up, because yes, five percent would be just us here, you know. Yeah, like uh, 80, 90 people, we are the 5%. We are the 5% that are going to, 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 to be rich. And I mean, the, 
uh, Scooby adverts, you know? And so this is this kind of rhetoric. Uh, rhetoric is very persuasive. And so I just uh, wanted to say that basically, particularly, we live in a time when all wisdom do not apply. You know? This is the problem. This is the, 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 uh, yeah, the problem. All wisdom does not apply. You, know? yeah. you, you basically have to be very smart. Now, if you are smart, you are going to go rich, probably, probably, uh, by breaking ethics. What I like to, what we can learn from the, 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 the housing market bubble in the United States, and its worst, is that basically, you, break, breaking ethics could uh, look uh, good for business, you know? Greed is good, okay? But let's break and in the process of going rich, uh, seems profitable. In the, uh, it's going to be a catastrophe, you know. Mm -hmm. So even a matter of, yeah, a matter of uh, uh, make billion of dollars uh, of profit from his uh, pyramid, but you know, he's serving life in prison. I mean, probably he is better off in prison than many other many other inmates, you know. Because he has money, but he is going to die in prison. I think so. Th this is the the problem with all this uh, uh, all this uh, uh, this uh, unethical uh, business, uh, which is very tempting in our time, making investments. So the question is, where should I invest my money? You know, I think that basically uh, the the old wisdom that should invest money where you generate some real service. Society mm -hmm. or some real uh, necessary problem. Yeah. It, it, uh, it's better. Yeah. Investing money in money, you know? And probably if we uh, give you another example of it, a boom, a boom. There, is a, you know, uh, there was another boom, economic boom in the United States, which was not uh, the, the housing market uh, industry, it was the high tech industry. Yeah. And they also bought, and you have a lot of, now, now Bill Gates is going, is probably going to become the first trillionaire in the world, you know, so probably he'll become a trillionaire very soon, you know, uh, I mean, uh, we never had trillionaire before, we had billionaires, but not trillionaire, you know? and other people follow, basically, now, uh, you can't say that uh, these people in the high tech industry didn't, Create anything useful. I mean, and now you see new, new, uh, new edges of uh, technology. Yeah. Uh, what is uh, AI, artificial intelligence? Mm -hmm. AI. Then it is then it is going to generate huge profits. Yeah. Fantastic profits. You know, I believe that people who invest now in uh, AI will become billionaires. In the future, I have no doubt about it. You know, yes. uh, imagine you had invested in uh, Apple in the 80s, for instance. Yeah, right. How rich would you be today? You know, and so uh, then green energy definitely is a big business. Not always big business, you know, but definitely the future belongs to green energy, mm -hmm. uh, re re renewable energy. Then, uh, uh, of course, uh, the inter computer brain interface. Mm -hmm. uh, is going to become a huge uh, profit maker, and um, uh, Elon Musk is uh, very, very, uh, very strong-minded about it. He wants to create, you know, like the computer, the computer with the interface. I just have a lot of uh, uh, medical technology, the... like uh, you run a diagnosis, so, uh, 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 a computer implanted, uh, and uh, I mean, mm -hmm. the right. That the computer is going to diagnose you on a daily basis, you know, and all kind of uh, genetics and so on. Uh, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, a lot of new horizons opening before us in um, uh, uh, encryption. Uh, security is a big issue, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you have uh, people uh, already been very very concerned about uh, computer security and encryption is going to be a very big uh, business in the future. Uh, most of, I believe that the, the most avenues open in the field of uh, computer technology, definitely. Yeah.
software, internet, or even a game, a computer game can be a, a, a huge uh, breakthrough. And so uh, this uh, this is the kind of investment you make into something you know is not going to be just a bubble. Right. Because whatever bubbles or does not bubble, I mean, it has something to offer to uh, humanity. Mm -hmm. You know, something really useful. And yeah. as long as something uh, uh, it has something to offer, you can say it's unethical. Definitely. I mean, in business you don't care about ethics. Sometimes, you know, but uh, it's uh, you know that you do something good for humanity while generating uh, profit and so on. So I, I think here, uh, and it's interesting because if you look at the ages of those people involved in this kind of technology, you see all oh, the young people. Yeah, you know, yeah. because you look at people, and uh, I remember and I read an article in the in the Wired, Wired magazine. I don't know if you are familiar with Wired. Yeah, I, I've heard of Wired magazine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very interesting actually there. About, uh, it's like a handful of people, they say, they are anonymous now, but we are going to hear a lot about them in the future. You look at them, they are local, uh, like between 25, 35 years old, all of them, young adults, you know? And always they have big ideas in a, in a, in a software and computer technology and uh, uh, computer application and business, or even in, in entertainment industry. I mean, uh, new ideas in entertainment and uh, everything. So uh, it's a good time for young people because uh, older people, like uh, 40 years old, uh, uh, I mean, you cannot adapt so so quick to the the, the, the new right. way of technology. You know, it's, it's it's moving very fast. But young people have given an average, a uh, leverage, a leverage, leverage. Yeah. They should use it just to be creative. Okay. Okay. The, um we're going to take a few minutes break with the break time here. So how about, uh, should I call you back when we're ready to continue? That's fine. Okay. okay. So let's, then. Let's, take, uh, let's take a short break. And uh, Okay, so basically what Andy is going into uh, now is uh, he was, he made the transition or he changed from, uh, you know, the businesses that, uh, you know, international business that kind of fooled a lot of people. And uh, now he's talking about the businesses, international businesses that actually brought some good uh, good things to, to the world, you know, like AI, artificial intelligence, and high-tech uh, products, and uh, online businesses like Amazon, and, uh, you know, uh, Alibaba, and so on and so forth. So. Um, for the international environment and international business, definitely uh, those businesses that make some contribution to to the world and to people uh, are likely to succeed more and to avoid many problems that businesses that have a pyramid kind of a uh, method, you know, which try to fool the bottom and make the, the, the top of the pyramid uh, more rich, you know. Uh, this kind of businesses, yes, they, they, of course, they can make some other people profit, uh, especially the people on the top. But um, um, like, like I said, if you if you focus your future and your your business and your job into an area of uh, artificial intelligence or technology or information systems or software design. Or even video games. Um, these are the international businesses which will, uh, will have a, a more uh, a more uh, a more safe environment. You know, like uh, uh, of course you you can invest in. in you know, banking and finance and property, but you need to be careful. You need to you need to understand the economic wave. Like uh, when the prices go up, you sell. When you, the prices go up, when the prices go down, you buy. Right. And stuff like that. So okay, let's take a break and then um, we can continue. And by the way, if you have any ideas or any questions that you want to discuss, uh, write it down and then uh, there are we can. Try to ask any 
about his opinion on whatever question or idea you have. Should we stop recording? Uh, yeah, you can stop.